We, as the Cambodian American community, have experienced attack after attack, raid after raid, and deportation after deportation. I see myself as an American. I was there when I was like five years old. Soti arrived in the United States 37 years ago. He was four and had just escaped the brutal dictatorial regime of the Khmer Rouge. He was playing with a mug. They knocked on our door. I answered the door and they said they were from immigration. I knew that they were gonna take him in. Soti is among some 1,700 legal permanent residents in the U.S. of Cambodian origin, issued with deportation orders. That means they could be rounded up any time, detained and repatriated without notice. The law allows for even rel relatively minor offenses to result in mandatory deportation if you're not a citizen. It's not just the Cambodian-American community that's been affected. Other Southeast Asian refugees have also been targeted for deportation. But countries like Vietnam and Laos have so far resisted taking refugees back. Cambodia relented after being threatened with visa sanctions, targeting government officials and their families. I know nothing of Cambodia. I didn't even know where it was on the map. I started thinking about my family, my friends, and you know, my little daughter. Hey, honey. Hey, sweetie. Hi. I gotta tell myself that you just gotta deal with it. You know, go forward and be strong and try to make something out of yourself here. These deportations are unfair, destructive. Many of our people have uh, been released from prison more than 10 years ago, living freely for six, eight, 10 years, clearly reformed. In some cases, the depression is quite severe. Some of them are just lost. We've had some suicides, I think about half a dozen. Arriving in Cambodia the same day as Soti was another Cambodian American, John Shrang Lee. These are depression pills. I'll just take this pill here, one pill, and then they'll knock me out, I go to sleep. My dad's brother, hogtied to a tree, they shot him. On my medical record, I have I'm, uh, P PTSD. It's that bad. John sought asylum in the US when he was eight. But 12 years ago, when he was 39, John was convicted of a gun possession charge. He was sentenced to two years in prison. A decade after he was released from prison, during a regular mandatory check-in with ICE, he was suddenly detained, then deported to Cambodia. It happened barely three days after his father died. I never get to bury my father. It affected me real bad that I wanted to commit suicide. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see my family, my wife and my daughters. Hi. You okay? Mm, see you. <laughs> so happy to see you. Hi. Hi, babies. 